Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crafty Monkey channel. My name is Amanda and this is Little Coconut. In this video I will be going through issue number four of Daphne's Diary magazine. Just move. Uh, so as I've said before, um, Daphne's Diary magazine is a sort of crafting lifestyle magazine. Uh, you can only buy it from a unique magazine in the UK. You have to get a subscription. So so this is issue number four of eight so we are halfway through it's a fun cover and then inside they always show us it uh they always decorate the inside of this magazine really well you can always cut these out use them in a junk journal this is your message from daphne then the overview of the magazine And then this is an article about Switzerland. I haven't actually stayed in Switzerland. I've driven through it on a coach holiday and I've gotten off the coach. So technically I've stood on the soil of Switzerland, but I've never actually been on holiday there. Somebody I used to go to school with now actually lives here. So can't be a bad place to live. Some lovely pictures you can cut out. The recipe on how to make strawberry ice creams. Not one for me, I'm actually allergic to strawberries. So I wonder if you can make them with raspberries. I imagine you probably can. And Daphne's diary entry. Then this is the items to buy this issue so we're moving into more of a uh, early summer late spring early summer theme in this magazine then uh, this month's uh, I've never parted with this it's about a sewing box got the poem and a butterfly this would be nice to cut out and then a craft for how to make this sort of pull up card this isn't die cut you need to uh, cut this out measurements and tips for going on holiday and the visit to somebody's house which happens in every issue Again, some of the images you can cut out and use. Again, got some creepy dolls. And then two recipes. So a veggie pizza and a roasted cauliflower steak. And this is quite a popular recipe if you're vegan. The featured artist, she does ceramic painting. These ones of the dogs are so cute. And you can cut these out using the junk journals. Body and health section, the Daphne's diary entry. And then the stickers this month are Little stickers for labelling bottles and toiletries if you have to count them for going on holiday. Quite useful. This is the uh, B and B of the issue. Again, some cool images to cut out. Another card on spinach salad. And then how to make a table. Uh, again, this is uh, more of an advanced project. You need to know how to cut uh, different types of material. It's quite cool when we rolled up issues of Daphne's Diary magazine as the base. So 
is the page uh, where you can get your subscription. to do flower arranging in a teacup so quite a cute display quite a nice idea it's a fun nice um you sometimes find some nice teacups and saucers in charity shops be a good way of using them then this is a lady who does uh needle felting these are very advanced needle felting artwork it also features on the cover of the magazine so letters where people are writing with craft projects and how to make a paper heart wreath it's very similar to the pom-pom technique that was in uh, issue number three then music in Coral Cottage in the Cotswolds. Lovely part of the world. It's Perth are one of the uh, big places in the Cotswolds to go to, along with places like Water on the Water. There's also the Cotswolds Wildlife Park, which is dog friendly. Um, if people are interested. Then the third of the posters, this is the summer poster. That's the summer poster. That's this one. We've just got one more to go. And then Mind and Soul, the Daphne's Diary entry. Again, not a page for me. different recipes, making you strawberries, and then I had to do dried flower painting so they dried the flowers and then painted over them which is an unusual way of using them. Next time I want your favourite colour. symbolism and what it means. Uh, how to make a bird feeder of a large plastic bottle. Good recycling project when you can do the kids. Don't get the kids to cut the plastic though. Another Daphne's diary entry and then the pop-out recipes. So how to make a quiche and avocado, asparagus and fried eggs. Pop out gift box. So it looks like that when it's all put together. Uh, your little story for the month or issue. How to tie dye. This is all back in into fashion tie dye. It's all the rage in the mid to late 90s. about going on holiday, like a top 10 holidays, a section about uh, flea markets, it has like flower ice cubes, so these would look cute in uh, if you're having a garden party. The symbolism of the maypole. But this is a very English thing, the maypole. They used to teach this at school, I'm not sure if they still do now. Back when I was at primary school in the early to mid 90s, they used to teach maypole dancing. Great pumpkin soup with chickpeas. This seems like an odd recipe for this time of year. I would have thought this would have been in more of the sort of Halloween, autumn -y type thing, but it seems like a nice soup. Colouring page. 
ice creams and desserts. Section about Coco Chanel. Again, lots of lovely images you can cut out here. The iconic vaulted bag and the suit, the tweed suit. Then how to um, do this piece of artwork. So you've got, you paint the branches and then you use these papers and cut them up to make the leaves and the flowers. It's sort of like a mixed media collage. Lots of different types of paper as well, which give different effects. The thing I like about this is you always get like A4 pieces of paper, decorative paper in this magazine. Then uh, the author this month is Lucinda Riley. She's an author I've always wanted to read and uh, I've found some of her books in the charity shop so I've bought a few, including this one. Um, and I'll add it to my ever-growing pile of books to read, but they sound interesting. I've also bought the first one in the Seven Sisters series, which is the series they mentioned down here. Uh, they seem quite, quite summery books, so I'm looking forward to reading those over the summer. And then posts where you can get some of the Daphne Story products. That's the back. So that's just a quick overview of Daphne's Diary issue number four. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.